Hey, for. Just as we wind down now, uh, just so we don't lose you again, it looks like uh, Mr. Bure is losing support, particularly from the obedience. In fact, a lot of people thought Mr. Peter Albi would say something about this, but we didn't hear, and that's quite unusual because uh, Mr. Bure is the leader of the party. The police now describing him as factional leader, but particularly about the support from obedience. Uh, have you seen that? Are you aware that the obedience are now saying, well, we don't, we are not supporting Julius Aburi anymore. I am sure you heard from a little fraction of the obedience. A little fraction. Most obedience are in support of Aburi. And let me thank God you use the word of what police said that Labour Party has become, uh, Aburi is a fractional or fractional chairman. Now, there is no court that has said that Aburi is not the authentic chairman. Why would police arrogate themselves the, the, the power to call an authentic national chairman a factional chairman? It tells you there is something fishy. It tells you that there's a script written. Police has no right. In the eyes of the law, Abure is not there. There is only one national chairman of Labour Party, which is Barrister Julius Abure. For police to call him a factional chairman is it's, uh, something... Uh, I don't even want to use a, a, any word, but as in the support base of Labour Party and obedience, Aburi still occupies the height, the very height of support within Iran. Of course, there is no way you expect everyone to give you support, even if you are Mr. If you, whatever thing you are doing right. Some people must dissent. But uh, let me let you know that in the party politics, in Labour Party politics, Abure still command the highest respect from the members and obedient family. And this will be proved very, very soon. I'm sure you are aware that the, our national leader has said that he's going to bring up uh, an external audit to, to, uh, to vet the account, uh, the audit the account of the party. When the result comes out, I am sure you will be among the persons that begin to sing Hosanna for this party because everything that you are seeing is clear. All those people that are alleging have no proof. Well, well Mr. Ifo, well, I, I, only, I only sing Hosanna to God and not to political parties, just to put that on record, Babukala. Well, well, well Mr. Ifo, the, the litmus test for uh, the legitimacy of his leadership perhaps would be, you know, during the forthcoming governorship election in Edo State. And uh, we know that your primaries are around the corner. I believe you can confirm that. But um, again, I'll follow up on Kyle's question. Where is the, Mr. Pitobi, where is he in all of this? Is he in support of um, the leadership of Mr. Julius Aburi? Mr. Pitobi is 100% in support of the leadership of Mr. Julius Aburi. But why hasn't he spoken there? Only last night, he spoke with the party leaders, asking us to be strong in this era of trial. You understand? At the right time, he will come out openly and speak. But remember that a few days ago, about three days ago, he actually spoke right. about the case in the Labour Party. Okay. And in the, 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 in the primaries that we are doing, has urged all of us to come out and mass and make sure that the Labour Party does the right thing by bringing right. out the best uh, and elected candidates. Pardon me, so we have to uh, wind down now, but just to confirm, you say Mr. Abure is in his hotel. Is he going back to the police uh, to maybe uh, appear for interrogation or, or what have you? Just confirm that to us quickly. No, he, he's on bail. Certainly, he will, whenever he's needed, he will... Uh, he will uh, uh, make himself available. And he has done that already, even in Abuja, right. where he stays. He has regularly visited the police whenever he's asked to come. He's a lawyer, he knows his right. right. And he knows whatever thing that's committed is available and nobody can keep him beyond uh, regulated time. All right. Mr. Obiorai, for confirming to us now that Mr. Julius Abure is now in his hotel room. He's been released on bail. Mr. Julius Abure is has been bailed in right. his hotel room. I am with him. All right. He's not very far away. Well, from thank where you so I much.